Hey guys and welcome to the channel, I'm Zemo, the Dan DPS, and today we're back with another episode of The Good, The Scrap and The Script. And this is following the series of explosive energy weapons that we've been following for a little while because we have a lot of them to test and a lot of them to play around with. But as we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And today's weapon, the Laz E Gun. Warhammer. For the Emperor. You know. Anyway, this is a quad, bullets explode, and action point cost. Laser gun. Razor, laser rifle. Laser gun. Laser rifle. Whatever. You know what it is. You can see it. We're using this today and we're going to see how well it does. And once again, with these videos, here's the build. Look at it. Pause the video. I'm not going into any more than that. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. So as you guys know, I absolutely love explosive weapons. It's one of my favourite damage types in the game. And I have loved them ever since the inception of the game. And the way you're seeing this is that this weapon is very, very viable. In VAT, with Company T, you are going to be getting your AP back in such a ridiculous way. And you're seeing how quickly it annihilates each super mutant. There is absolutely nothing they can do against this weapon. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, this is quad, might I add, as well. This is not a damage variant of this weapon. This is just a very powerful and viable thing to use. I had already wiped out these guys, I think, um, because I tried to record several times <laughs> and didn't go very well because for some reason my uh, radiation healed itself. Um, but yeah, like you're seeing, like this weapon does ridiculous damage. And even if you want to use it in a more manual aspect, you can do it. You know, if you're a better aim than me, you'll do really well. But again, that's, it's going to completely annihilate just about anything you aim it at. And things die, things die very quickly. As with any of these videos, we come to say hello to Jeff. Now, I'm expecting this is going to be rather quick. Now, as you saw, it used up all my AP in order to kill him. But a couple of stray shots from that, and we were able to wipe him out pretty significantly. It's a very effective weapon. Alrighty, now with this video, we will head on over to the Myrler Queen. And we're going to disable this big donk right away. And you're seeing that, while this is a low-level Marlar Queen, it's, the HP is going down rel relatively quick. Like, these things are not weak enemies, even lower-level ones. So, the fact that it died so quickly and so easily is testament to how good this weapon is. I honestly think this weapon with this patch has became so much more powerful than it used to be in comparison. Like, it might just be me that feels that way, but I, I didn't really rate laser rifles that much last patch. Now I quite like this one. So as with any of these videos, we come into expeditions to see how well they do it. Now, you're seeing like the damage it does on these enemies is actually quite significant. You know, you are able to kill them pretty damn quick and as a result, you're able to get pretty much your ammo back from it. I feel like this is going to be a very viable weapon for you to bring in here. The only enemies that are going to struggle to be instantly annihilated is going to be your, uh, your your big fellas, like your bosses, like Juchi and that. But the, the actual overgrown go down like they're made of tissue paper. And then the ammo you're getting back is, like you're seeing, my ammo is going up on that left side. Now, during the filming of this video, this hasn't broken once either. It was at a full charge of, of like HP. So when I've killed a few more enemies, we'll have a look and see how far it's went down and see how you know viable it's been that way. And I feel like if you're using it in short bursts like I am with VATS, then you're probably going to get more use out of it in that way. So let's go in. I have absolutely a crap ton of weapons because I just filmed a script my pants video. So ignore them. And you're seeing, like, we've only used a little bit of, of health. Granted, this weapon is very undurable. And you have to figure out whether you want the trade-off of action point cost or durability. If you go for durability, you are going to be able to use it less in that. But if you go for action point cost, then it's going to break more often. So balance it out. That's the kind of thought you need to have on it. But it's done incredibly well in these tests. Now, I'll say this now. I was not a fan of this weapon prior to it being explosive and being able to be explosive. And... I honestly didn't think this was going to do too well in these tests. But 
it has exceeded and smashed my expectations. This is an absolutely fantastic weapon. And granted, I have just not been a fan of them because they break so quickly. Um, but this one, in the way I'm using it, has been incredibly viable, incredibly usable, and very happy to say that I've added it to my kit. Either way, guys, that is today's video. If there's anything you'd like me to make video-wise in the future, leave that down in the comment below. And I'll catch you all next time in the wasteland. Pop open it's a nuclear pop Stabbing and swooping wild like a lock Testing weapons, bang bang sparks Radiation hum, I'm going stark Swinging in down Appalachia Trail Mothman legends, all tales prevail Strip for the traders, scrap on sale Building forts, raiders on our tail Oh, the good, the scrap and the scream Wandering wasteland, loose on the lip Order and hustle, ain't just a quip Survivor's dance, got a weapon on the hip Oh, the good, the scrap and the screed Wandering wasteland, loose on the lip Order and hustle, ain't just a quip Survivor's dance, got a weapon on the hip Crafting stations, tinkers delight Fixing shotguns, new rifles tight Ghouls round the corner, gotta fight Day turns to night, it'll flash a bright